you know, each kid has his story and you have to kind of be able to listen to it. And they're all different. And they all have their own way of getting where they're gonna get. They simply want an opportunity to see if they can learn a bit more about themselves. And that's what the art is about. I think you have to have a special gift. And uh, those people that have that special gift can connect. And when you have that connection, you can take a student anywhere. If you take each one as an individual and has a special set of strengths and weaknesses and try to prod them a little beyond what they're used to, as long as they do their homework, they'll, they'll be okay. Uh, and in, in the arts, we simply ask you, to, wherever you are, just bring your true self. And I wish we did that, frankly, more with young people and let them take a bit more active control of their educational destiny, certainly when they get to be juniors and seniors. The real art of being able to teach is that active engagement of the kid. Even if the kid may struggle in a particular subject matter that you're teaching, it's still incumbent upon us to actively engage and get the most out. It's just understanding that, you know, sometimes there are different ways to approach things. With math, you can solve a problem multiple different ways, just as with a student. You can approach it one way and it might be the best way for that kid, or it could be the worst. So it's understanding what you need, um, kind of what you need to find with that student that'll help them. The art of teaching, to me, is the idea of flexibility, whether it's flexibility on the lacrosse field, uh, being flexible, I live in a dorm with freshman girls, or in my classroom. I've had a couple of students that just, you know, want to come by and chat, and, you know, that's one of the great benefits of being here and living on campus, is I can have them come over to my apartment, they're having a bad day, I give them a cup of hot cocoa and uh, you know they kind of just spill the beans. And just to be involved and get to know students outside of the four walls of a classroom is everything I've wanted in a job. You don't get that at many places. There's so much about that just being still and trying to figure out what is happening with this child today. How can I help him it may have nothing to do with helping him read something or write something. It may just have to do with helping him feel better about himself so he can continue for the rest of the day. Um, and it's so exciting to watch the kids just grow. As, as I said, I, I've, I've always considered what we do in this office as, as teaching, because in the, in the broadest sense, and if you're going to teach kids, you, you have to meet them where they are, wherever that may be. And I found, and this was also, actually, it was true in the, in the classroom when I taught French, that what you need to do is, is to, to listen and then react to what kids have to say. Or sometimes in a classroom to react to what they don't say. Lead them along and get them to use their own thoughts and stuff to get to where you want them to be. With any art, because I do believe that it is an art, but with any art, there's there has to be some sort of natural ability. And I think there's brilliant, brilliant people who wouldn't be able to teach. Um, because it's not, there, there, there's some intrinsic motivation that really makes you want to wake up every day and try as hard as you can, and as frustrating as it may be at times, really, really try to make other people's lives better. We 
have a chance to touch these kids, to work with these kids, to help these kids, not just in the classroom, but in the dorm, on the athletic fields, in our advisories. All those moments there are, are what I consider teachable moments. And again, it's not just about content, it's about the bigger picture. And, and I think that's something that we do really, really well here. I think to teach, to advise, to counsel, to listen, um, you know, a day doesn't go by when someone's not in here talking about something going on in their life and using that as a teaching moment of how to help the students grow and make better decisions or continue to make good decisions. Our job as teachers is to be studying the students that we're working with and learning from them. And I think when students can see that you're really listening to them, that helps them to take themselves seriously um, and to see themselves as scholars. They pull us out of kind of our adult stand on the sidelines and they challenge us to engage and to think and to play and that helps both of us. It's a place where people are always questioning what they do and I think that is providing a role model for the kids. Lawrence Academy was a school I chose. I went looking for ordinary kids who could become extraordinary individuals. The art of teaching, as I said, is kind of allowing the students to become themselves. It's what it really is, and it's helping them on that way. I, I often describe this school as a place that's very good at taking a kid who's here and bringing him up to here. Children recognize the fact that you're invested in them, and when they know that you're investing in them, they in turn are, are much more likely to invest in you and to the overall experience. Mm -hmm.